What is the most satisfying time you've caught someone in a lie? Mystery of Stuff When I was young, I had these tiny magnetic figures, not sure what they are called. So anyways, I was at a friend's house, and I had just bought a new pair of them. When I was about to go home I noticed one was missing. I got kinda sad and asked him if he had seen it. He said no. But I knew he was this liar type of guy, so I searched his pockets. I found it in his back pocket, and he started saying stuff like I didn't know it was there, must have been my brother. I felt like a detective afterwards. TLDR my friend stole one of my toys, I went detective on his ass. Not me, but a good friend who was autistic and pretty awkward. She went to church group with a friend, and the leader of the group was picking on her the whole night. She's an easy target, as she's sweet and blundering. She leaned over to grab something, and her shirt rode up a little bit. The leader shouted yo. I can see your underwear. My friend shouted back no you can't. And you're a liar. I'm not wearing underwear. I once had a graphic designer apply for a post using my artwork in his portfolio. Asked him all about the work and the thinking behind the designs before I showed him the originals and the door. Lube tech at a Jiffy Lube tried to convince me that I needed a radiator service on a car that didn't have a radiator. He even showed me a pH strip to prove that the fluid had gone acidic. I told him if he could show me the radiator, I'd cheerfully pay for the service. His face when he opened my car's trunk, where most cars keep their hoods, was pretty priceless. My boyfriend used to work third shift at a popular gas station on the East Coast. He worked with one of those notoriously terrible co-workers that calls in all the time with tons of excuses. Well, one night, she called out saying that she was sick, that she was vomiting and feverish, couldn't come in, sorry. The only person available to work her shift was the district manager, who happened to be in the area for a meeting. DM comes in and works cashier with my boyfriend. Around 3 a.m., who should walk in but the called-out co-worker, wasted beyond belief. She bought two rolls of Tums and ate one while waiting in line. Waiting in line for the DM to ring her up and fire her on the spot. TLDR co-worker fakes being sick, only to return to place of employment wasted and find her boss boss waiting on her. An ex-girlfriend of mine called to tell me she was pregnant and that she needed money to terminate the pregnancy. I did the math quickly in my head and realized that there was no way she could be pregnant by me because we had stopped having relations long before we split. So, I told her that as the father I had rights too, and that I wanted her to have the child, and I would take full custody and pay her medical bills. She was speechless and then said, I'll call you back. She called a day or so later saying she had a miscarriage. We used to know this girl who compulsively lied about the littlest things, so we always wondered if she was lying about other things. Mainly we wondered if she was lying about having epilepsy. Well, she faked a fit in front of a group of us once at a party. She started pretending to shake, fell to the floor and so on. She then stopped, confirmed that people were looking and paying attention, and then continued. We told her to stop and that she was obviously faking. She left. Not really a lie, but I was that kid who set all the curves in math class in high school. I'm Chinese, and there were other Chinese kids who sat behind me in class. I don't know why they didn't think I spoke Mandarin, but I did. They would talk shit on me all the time in Mandarin, like, this stupid kid thinks he's so fucking smart blah blah blah. I never reacted. Literally the last week of class, I turned around and started talking to them in fluent Mandarin. Priceless look on their faces. This girl from my high school lied about having breast cancer to everyone. She even got counseling from a teacher who actually did have breast cancer and has since died. Eventually everyone found out she was lying about the whole thing for attention, and I doubt we'll ever see her at a high school reunion. Every single time I catch my son in a lie. So satisfying because I get to watch his head spin while trying to come up with new lies and justifications, not fully understanding that my 20 plus year head start has allowed me to anticipate every single thing he's about to say, and he should just give up. 
my buddy was dating my roommate. They broke up which made it awkward for me. Well she goes all crazy on him and starts telling him she's pregnant and it is his. After he told me this, we lived in a two bedroom, one bath, I started noticing that the stash of tampons my roommate kept under the sink were dwindling. Upon hearing this news from me, I've never seen a more relieved person. I had a long argument once with someone who claimed loudly and angrily that Pat Morita from the original Karate Kid movies was a master of martial arts in real life. He came up with loads of evidence and even talked about stories of Morita single-handedly defeating hordes of attackers. Then I showed him an article where it talked about Morita spending most of his life as a stand-up comic with no martial arts experience, and he shut up. TLDR, Pat Morita was not a ninja. I met this dude who wanted to join my band, and he was a huge Pearl Jam and Rolling Stones fan. So I had asked him if he was a fan of the band Stone Sessions, a band I made up on the spot. He told me he had every one of their albums. The look on his face was priceless when I told him I made up the band. Mystery of Stuff